Hello, this is Lucas, and in this video, I'm going to be going over how we can add 2D shapes into our Java Effects application. So there's three shapes that I'm that I'm going to be going over: the line, rectangle, and the circle. Now, there's a lot more shapes that we can add in, but I'm only going to go over just the three basic ones, just to ju just to make you understand how uh, 2D shapes work in Java. But if if you want to add any other shapes, there's a lot of resources online. Okay, so we're going to start off with the line. First, so we do a line, and then we'll give a name, which I'm going to add line. Then we'll equal that to a new line. So just like that, we have added a new line. So now we need to set where this line is going to start and end uh, on our application. So the way we'll do that is we'll do a line dot uh, set start x, and then I'm just going to set that as zero, and then I'm going to do a line dot set start y and i'll also leave this as zero so what this means is our line will begin from the axis x zero and the y axis zero so it'll be at the very top left of our application and now we need to set where this line is going to end from so we'll do line dot set end x that and same thing where on um, where do we want our line to finish on the x axis so 250 and then the same thing for the y axis and let's say we do this 200, okay? So now we have created a line. Now we just need to add this line to our uh, root or our anchor pane or any other layout. So we'll do root dot get children dot add line. And just like that, we have added a line. So now if we run this, you can see that we have a line. We started our line on the axis zero, zero. So the very top left. And then we ended it on the X axis 250. So from our left hand side to here is 250 and then on the y axis is 200 so it will end at 200 here. Okay, so that's the way a line works. I'm going to move on to a to the rectangle I think now. I'm going to remove this, we don't need this anymore. So to create a rectangle we just have to put in a rectangle. We can give it any name, I'm just going to do rect, to go to a new rectangle and just like that we have created a rectangle i'm going to add this in, in here okay and now we have to give a couple of values so the first one is where do we want this rectangle to start at so we'll do the same thing as the line we'll do rect dot set x and let's say we want it to start uh, on the axis 20 okay and then you have to do the exact same thing for the y axis And then let's say we do 20 as well. So our rectangle will start on the axis uh, 20, 20, all right? X axis 20 and Y axis 20 as well. Now we need to set the height and the width of our rectangle. So we'll do rect dot uh, set width. Let's say we want it to be 200. Then we also have to set the, uh, the height of it. Let's say we want this to be uh, 100. So it's going to be 200 in width and 100 in height. And now we can actually just add this in. Or we can run this and you can see now we have created a rectangle. So the rectangle starts on the axis 20, 20. So x axis 20. So from the left to here is 20. And then y axis is 20 as well, which is from here to only here. Okay, because this is the tab. This doesn't count as our layout, so it will start from here. So this is 20 and this is 20. And then our width is 200. And our height is 100. Okay. Now there's a couple other things that we can do. We can change the color of this. So let's turn this, let's close that. And let's do, let's do rect uh, dot set fill. And then we, we need to give it a paint value. So we'll do a color dot, and then I'll just do red. Just like that, we are going to set the color of our rectangle. You can now see that the color is red. We can add a we can add a border or a stroke. So I'm going to actually just space this out a bit. So we'll do uh, we'll do rect dot set uh, stroke. We can give it a color again. So we do color dot. Uh, I'm going to name. I'm going to do black. And then we need to set the size. Of our stroke or our border, so we'll do uh, rect dot set 
uh, stroke width and we can give a value let's say I'll give a value of 5 now when we save this we run this you can see that we have a black border around our rectangle uh, the color of it is black and the width of the border or the stroke is 5 that we have set here okay so that's basically it for rectangles I'll go over one more or I will go over the circle okay so to make a circle is the same thing we just do circle you can give a name I'll just do a circle equal that to a new uh, circle okay so we have created our circle now we need to do the same thing we need to set where our uh, where the center of our circle will be okay so we'll do a circle dot set center x let's say we'll do a hundred and then we'll do a circle dot set oops, circle dot set center y 100 okay and then we also have to give the radius of our circles so we'll do a circle dot set radius and let's say we want it to have a radius of 50 for example and then we just have to add it in in here now whenever we run this you can see that we have a circle so the way that this works is our circle center which is right in the middle of our of our circle it's going to be uh, 100 from the x-axis 100 from the y-axis and it's going to have a radius of 50 so from here to here it's going to be 50 okay uh, we can also let's change this to let's close this first let's change this to a hundred let's make it a bit bigger and now let's change the color of our circle do circle dot set fill and let's change the color of this to let's do red again sure now we run this you can see our circle is way bigger the center is still 100 by 100 so 100 from the y-axis which is here and then 100 from the x-axis which is here as well then the radius is 100 so from here to here is 100 okay and then the color that we have set is red so that is about it for shapes or 2d shapes anyway in javafx hope this video helped hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one peace out